Hello. Today we are discussing USB devices and whether you need to use safely remove hardware or safe eject or just eject when removing a USB stick, a portable hard drive or other devices from a USB port. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with the latest videos. All right, what happens when you plug a stick into the USB port or any other device? But let's refer to the stick because you can write files on it, unlike other USB devices like a webcam. So when we connect a USB drive to the PC, the PC gives power to the USB drive to the USB port. And then the device detection phase, the operating system detects the new hardware connection. Drivers are being then loaded by the operating system. He automatically selects the appropriate drivers for the USB drive. The device then gets identified. That means the PC reads basic information from the drive, such as capacity, model, brand, etc. The drive is then being mounted. The operating system assigns a drive letter in Windows or a mount point in macOS Linux to the USB drive. Then the file system is being recognized. The system identifies the file system on the drive, like FAT32, NTFS, etc. Auto run, if enabled, depending on your settings, uh, your system might automatically open an explorer window or run certain programs. Now the drive becomes accessible for file operations, such as reading a file, writing a file, deleting something from the USB drive, and so on. Conversely, when you remove the stick from the USB port, the operating system unmounts the drive, closes any open files on the stick, stops providing power, and removes it from the list of active devices. And then it shows your notification and you can remove the drive. On some newer operating systems, like Windows 10 or 11, the default settings for USB storage devices is quick remove, meaning if you directly pull the USB stick, the chances of something going wrong are minimal. Of course, as long as you don't remove the stick in the middle of copying a file or something like that, just give it a second after the write operation is complete and then you can remove it. However, problems can arise when write caching is enabled for a device. The cache, as discussed in a previous video on the channel, is used to make things faster. In the case of a stick with write caching, write operations are firstly stored in the RAM and then transferred to the USB stick. So when you copy something to it, that's how the process chain is. This generally allows the system to run more smoothly and that's why it's there. So I won't go into details on how things work here. But precisely because write caching might not have completely transferred a file to the stick, issues can occur if you remove the stick without using a safe remove hardware or eject. When you use this, uh, functions like eject or safe remove hardware, the operating system completes the operations, ensures nothing remains in the cache, and follows the previously mentioned steps before letting you know that the hardware can now be safely removed. So as I mentioned on Windows, write caching is usually disabled for portable devices like USB sticks. On Apple, however, on Apple operating systems, as far as I know, write caching is enabled by default. Therefore, if you have an Apple device, it is actually recommended to use eject or safe eject in, to avoid problems. So I also need to mention that some sticks are formatted using FAT or FAT32 for compatibility reasons, uh, being that they work with most systems. Keep in mind that these formats, even if more universally compatible, are more susceptible to corruptions. So have you ever had problems with a stick because you didn't use eject or safely removed? I personally haven't. 
but if you did, leave me a comment with your story, I'm genuinely curious. In the meantime, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.